Hi everyone. So today we will discuss the stack important interview questions. Uh, as per our plan, we have discussed a lot of questions on the array. Now I want to cover few important questions which are part of the stack data structure. So what are the questions we will discuss? As I told you in my previous video that we will discuss the five questions from stack. Okay, so these are the five important questions which I picked and I thought that these are the must questions. You need to solve these questions before going to any coding interview. So the first problem today we will discuss is the stock spend problem. And in the next videos, I will cover the next greater element, trapping rainwater, largest rectangular area in a histogram. And you need to design a stack that supports retrieving the minimum element in the constant time. So our target for today is the stock spin problem. Let us jump to that one. So what is this problem? In this problem, our input will be the price of the stack on each day. All right, let's see. So for example, we have 100, this is the array which we have, and what will be the output? So what we need to do, we need to calculate for each element, you need to find the number of consecutive days prior to the current day where price of this stock was less than equal to the current day price. For example, let's say 85. So you need to find all the, all the elements, count of the elements, towards left side which are less than equals to 85 and it should be conjugative so for 85 it should be CR 75 which is less than 85 yes we'll go to left side 60 less than 85 perfect we'll go to left side 70 is less than 85 yes correct so we'll go to go to left side 60 is less than 85 yes 80 is less than 85 yes and 100 is less than 85 no so up to 80 how many how many elements are there so 80 60 70 60 75 85 including 85 we we need to print so how many elements six elements so answer for 85 is six now similarly for 75 we can see 75 60 70 60 these four elements these three elements are less than equals to 75 and including 75 because we are we are saying about equality here so we will get four elements right so you so you can see answer for 75 is nothing but four and answer for 100 will be one because there is no elements towards left side so 100 is less than equals to itself so we will get one count all right so this is the question which we need to find out now how to solve this question okay so what you can do just pause the video and think what is the first approach which is coming to your mind the first approach which came to my mind is this is the approach and this approach what what i can do here what i need to find out i need to find out that for each element i will go towards left side and and i will keep going until the element is less than equals to current element so we will just run a loop inside that loop we will run one more while loop and this loop will continue until the element is less than the your current element so what you can see what we are doing we are running one loop and for each element there is one count variable count is one we will start with the previous element so j is j is i minus one now your while loop will check if array of j is less than equals to area of i then we will just increment the count and we will decrement the j variable so answer of this index will be count will store in the answer array if we are declaring one answer array here and you can see we got the answer now here we are in the worst case we are running two loops loop inside loop right so the time complexity of this approach is nothing but o of n square and the space complexity will be we are just taking one answer array so it will be o of n but if but we can instead of storing we can directly print also all right we can print as well so we can make the space complexity to o of 1 easily all right 
Now here time complexity is O of n square. Can we optimize this thing? All right. Because this is a so this is a very simple approach. Anybody can do this way. So let us try to optimize this question. So I will what I will say is here there is one observation you will see what we are doing in the question. For each element, I just need index of the first element which is greater than the current element in its left side. What I mean is for each, each for each element. Okay, let's say 85. Okay, we'll take 85. Now for 85, what you need, you need the index of the first element in its left side, which is greater than this. So you will see that 100, right? 100 is the first element, which is greater than 85. So this is the thing which, which we want to calculate for each element. All right, now how to do that? So here you can see for 85, uh, greater index of the greater first greater element is 100 which is 0 so answer will be for 85 answer will be difference of index of these two element so you can see j minus i so here j is nothing but oh sorry i minus j so it will be i minus j so what you need to do 6 minus 0 is, is nothing but 6 now now for 75 what is the first element in its left side which is greater than 75? So 80, right? Index of 80 is nothing but 1. Take the difference of these two index. So 5 minus 1 which is 4. And this way we can do for all the elements. Alright? So we will use this approach to solve the question. In this approach what we are doing? For each element we need to find the first element in its left side which is greater than the current element and we will take the difference of index that is the answer for that element all right so what we can do now here how to how to do that so we will use the stack to find out the element which is greater than the current element in the in in the stack what we will do step one you just need to insert the first element in the stack Okay, after that, just run the loop on the remaining element of the array and you need to check one condition. You, if the top of the stack, if top of the stack is, gray, is smaller than the current element, just pop the element from the stack and do this for all the elements. If this is not the case, we'll just insert the element into the stack and while popping out element from the stack, you just need to apply this formula i minus j and you will get the answer of that element. So let me do the dry run. Okay. So here for this array, what array we have 100, 80, 60, 70, 60, 75, 85. What you will do? First of all, we'll insert the first element into the stack. Here one, one important thing, we will store the index of the element in the index, e, in the stack. So 400 I, I will store the 0. Now here I just mentioned 0 will have 100. So just to explain you guys. But you need to store the index only. So our stack will have 0 index. Now next element we will run the loop for all the elements. Now next element is 80. Right? What you need to check? If top of the stack is smaller than this one, pop the top element of the stack. But here it is not smaller. Top of this uh, stack is greater. So we will just insert 80, not 80, index of 80 which is 1. So we will insert 1 into the stack. Now next element is 60. Again 60 is smaller than 80, we will just insert it. So you can see our stack has 3 element at this point. Now next element is 70. Now you will see that top of the stack is smaller than the current element 70. So you need to pop the pop the element from the stack. So 60 will come out. Alright. While coming out the element from the stack you need to apply the formula this formula to get the answer for the popped element. So you can see 
that if you will pop the element this uh, second index element which is 60 so answer of 2 will be top index after popping out top will be this one 1 index 1 so you need to do popped index top index and pop index difference you need to take so you can simply here you can check 2 minus 1 you will get 1 and answer will be 1 now what you will do you will go to the next element which is 60 now you will insert 60 oh after this one after after popping out 60 you will see that top of this stack is 80 now so 70 is less than 80 just insert the index 3 which is the 70 all right so this is your stack now now we will go to the next element which is 60 60 is smaller than 70 you will just insert into this stack similarly you will go to 75 and here you will see hey 75 is greater than the 60 and 70 you will pop out and just apply the same logic for all the elements and you will get the answer let us quickly jump to the coding part we will not waste our time okay so i'll show you the code no worry about that you will understand everything so i will explain you i'll i i have written the code for both the approach what is the approach one approach one is nothing but we will run the two loops you can see loop one and for each element of the array we will go up to the element in the left side which is less than the current element and we are just printing right so no need to store no need to define this answer array here all right so this is the question let us run this approach so you can see we are getting the answer as one 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 two one four six and eight all right this is our element in this i have added one extra element which is one zero five so answer for one zero five is all the elements in its left side so this is the question and uh, this is our first approach now this approach time complexity will be o of n square all right n square and the space complexity will be constant all right which is nothing but o of one perfect now let us jump to the, our second method which we have discussed with with the help of stack how to solve the question so you can see with the help of stack what we are doing is okay we will take one stack as the okay we will define one stack here and this is the answer which will store our for each element what is the answer now what you need to do we'll just run the loop on the array first of all our stack will be empty so for first element definitely we will come in inside this condition we will insert the first element into the stack after that what you need to do keep popping the elements from this stack until they are smaller than the current element so this condition you can see stack should have something and uh, if the top of the stack is less than the current element just pop the element from the stack while popping the element you just need to apply one formula which we have already discussed index minus stack peak right so we need to just we just need to take the difference of those two index and you will get the answer and if your stack is empty it means all the all the elements towards my left side are smaller so you just need to define in uh, so index plus one right and we will insert the current element into the stack here you can see i we are inserting the index not the element but while explaining i was just showing you with the help of elements only so here you can see while popping out i am just taking array of stack of peak because i am storing the index into the stack and once we came out of the loop you need to pop the element from the stack while popping out you need to apply the same formula again and in the last you just need to print the array answer which will store the answer for all the elements in the array let us run this question so you can see we got the answer let me just modify something here here i will just mention let's say uh, 90 all right 
so for 90 we should get uh, 7 right so yeah we got 7 for 90 and rest everything will be same i hope i hope it is clear you you can take the screenshot of this piece of code or if you want the code please comment out i will be happy to help you and if you feel anything is not clear in this question let me know and uh, in the next video we will discuss about these five questions the, these remaining four questions from stack these are very important questions you need to solve each and every question from this stack so stay tuned for the next video in the next video we will discuss the next greater element with the help of stack how to find out thank you thank you guys